Hi, I'm Steve Casely from CBT Nuggets, and this micro nugget is focused on refactoring and other techniques that we apply in Scrum Agile development to help improve the quality of our code. Refactoring is all about the techniques that we apply in Scrum Agile development to help improve the quality of our code. A principle of Agile development is we do the minimal code necessary to satisfy a user's story. Often that means we're going to write code, update code, change code in an existing module that is going to do the very minimum that we need to satisfy the user's story. And in and of itself, doing the minimal code to support a user's story and adding that to an existing module probably doesn't create too bad an addition, too much compromise to the code base. But if we have three, five, eight, 25 stories that incrementally add to an existing module, over time, the three, the five, the eight, the 25 additions to that code base is going to ultimately end up with complex code. We're going to start to come with brittle, fragile code, and we're going to get to the point where we say, if we do many more changes to this code, I just, I'm not confident it's going to work. So we need to create a new user story to refactor the code, to take this very complex code and improve it. And sometimes we can get away with simply taking the time to work within the existing code and create a better structured code to reorganize the code and just simply apply better coding practices within the existing module, redevelop it, re-implement it, and all is good. But often what refactoring needs is an actual branching process where we're going to split that large complex program into a number of smaller units. You're probably going to have a overhead program that's going to act as the traffic cop. If it's this type of transaction, you're going to call module A. And if it's this type of transaction, you're going to call module B. And if it's this type of transaction, you're going to call module C. And then each of these smaller units are much better organized, much more refined units of code, and are then ready for future editions of another three, five, eight, 25 user stories until it's time to do another refactor and do another set of code improvement. Now you may say refactoring sounds pretty risky. I'm taking existing code that's running in production and I'm just changing it for the sake of making it better. And that's true, but it's not risky because we have an automated test engine. So we know this code was working. We, knew, we know this code was running through our automated test engine before we started our refactor because the build runs green. So we do our refactoring. We do our improvement, we do our branching, and we split this large complex unit into a number of smaller units. We check it back into our code repository. We run our automated build. We run our automated test and expect a green light. If we've refactored successfully, we've delivered the same identical business process. We're not adding new business functionality. We're just refactoring our code and making it better. We've delivered exactly the same end state and it's validated by our automated test engine still running green. And that's how we can refactor with confidence. Our build server, our test server still completes green. Another consideration we often need to apply when we're trying to improve concept or complex code is this concept of a spike. Unlike refactoring where we're changing our production code and we're putting it back into our repository and we're putting it into our production build, spikes are exploratory. Spikes are throwaway. But often as we're trying to figure out the best way to refactor our code, maybe we need to do some spikes. Maybe we want to write a code and not have a check into our build engine, but do a little exploring, do a little testing, do, do a little validation, just do a little playing. Whether we're doing our playing to explore the best way to refactor, whether we're doing our playing to find out the best way to satisfy a new business story, we often will run spikes 
in an agile scrum world simply to explore the best way to test a given approach in our project. This concludes our discussion on refactoring and other agile techniques that we use to improve the quality of our code. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you for viewing.